Hello and welcome to part two of the 1700 Indianapolis build by Tamiya. And uh, where I'm up to now is pretty much putting on whatever I can um, that I can spray that's on here. So I've got some areas put on here. Um, so a lot of these places, these will be need to be um, taped up after I've done the deck color. Now, all the superstructures I'm doing, I've got all separate here. So we've got different um, platforms here. There's the crane, there's a radar there. So I'm building them all up separately. So I'm going to undercoat them all. Um, along with this and then spray the um, the deck color that I need on these and tape everything up there's going to be a lot of taping up in this model um, I'm at the end of section uh, of step three in the way of all the larger pieces that I want to paint with the airbrush the smaller pieces, like there's little binoculars and uh, little life rafts and um, other very, very tiny bits and pieces, I'm going to hand brush those. Um, make life a lot easier. Then I'll be going, so now I'm going to be working on step four. And step four is the bridge assembly. So what I'll do is I'll build up the main um, structure of the bridge and then I'll put everything uh, separate together uh, for the bridge um, for example like the smokestack uh, and anything anything else uh, without putting them down on the bridge and we'll keep them all in our separate bits and pieces to be sprayed Okay, so I'll keep progressing with this and we'll come back in a second and have a look at how we're going.
Okay, so I've filled all those pieces together. So what we've got now is I've got these labeled here. Step three, step four, and step five. So all these pieces of the structure here and here, and this includes the catapult and the uh, mast are all the parts for step for those steps um, that I'm going to put on after I've painted. So that's why I pulled them off. They're all going to get painted separately, just because it's going to be a bit easier to do it this way. Now, what I'm up to now, move these aside, is in step six. Now step six is all the guns. So step six will be putting together all the there's uh, eight looks like machine guns there, another eight anti-aircraft guns, or six there, another eight guns here. Uh, we've got of course the, um, the turrets, which is three turrets. And, and of course the, the float plane. Now, I'm going to probably get along, get on to painting and undercoating some of these parts, including the ship itself. Uh, I'll get a primer coat down on all of that so that in between drying time, I can start working on these guns. Uh, because if I do all of these now, and I'm going to be stuck waiting for paint to dry on each thing as I as I go through each stage. Okay, so I shall continue. And because it's such a nice day, we'll uh, get all this painted. And uh, we'll come back and have a look and see what these look like, a bit of paint on them. Okay, thank you. Okay, so while they're all drying, um, I'm going to make a start on step six, which will be the guns. So, anti-aircraft guns, I need to make eight of the small two-barrel ones, six of type B, and eight of C, so 22, 22 guns before I do the turrets. All right, so I'll get into that and uh, we'll have a look at the progress as we go. Cheers. Okay, welcome back. So let's have a look. I've done all the anti-aircraft guns and I'll, I'll throw some photos up in uh, this corner here, here, somewhere. <laughs> Because they're a bit too small to really look at, but let's try it. Focus here. There we go. 
Got six of those. And we have eight of these. And I know they're very small, but, you know, I'm still going to detail these. And I mean, like, really, you know, do some weathering on them. Get some, the barrels looking good. These ones here, which have the, plat, what they're sitting on there, the platforms and stuff. Little boxes, ammunition boxes and so forth. Come on, show me. Yeah. See, so I'll I'll touch those up a little bit. Get some silver paint in there and stuff. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Nobody will ever see them that well, but anyway, I enjoy doing it. All right. So when I come back, we'll have a look at some of what I've got undercoated and see how they're looking. Back in a second. Okay, welcome back. So, we've got some pieces here that are all undercoated. These are all the superstructure and the smokestacks. Um, so, they're all being undercoated. And here we have the mast and the catapult for the seaplane. That they're also done move them aside now we've also got the uh, ship of course uh, thing. give it a coat of primer and uh, what I'm going to do now will be um, tape off the water line around which will be the width of the base that we sat it that we've sat it on so I'll use Tamiya tape and tape that off um, and then what I'm going to do is for the side of the ship it's going to be done in XF50 field blue that'll be the side now I know the instructions call for uh, where are we um, navy blue but it's it's pretty much exactly the same um, in fact it might be slightly a little bit darker but I think that's going to look really nice um, so that'll on the side and then from this point up closer look yeah to focus yeah, so so from where that starts up here um, that will become the gray and along along with the side of the superstructure and side of all the superstructures be gray and they're going to be a uh, Lin IJN gray XF75 I like this on my ships I use this a lot and I've got three jars of it so <laughs> I've got plenty of that and so it's, it's a nice grey and that, now the instruction asks for a neutral grey well that's that's close enough okay now so that'll be for the um, the sides of all the superstructure now the top looking down all the um, horizontal surfaces except where the deck will be have to be blue now in here they say intermediate blue and that's uh, it's interesting because the instructions show that as the color of the aircraft as well but anyway we're going to do that the deck uh, so intermediate blue what I've got is I've got a mr. hobby uh, intermediate blue I don't have it in Tamiya, but we'll have to use the use this, and it's a really nice nice blue. So that that'll look nice on all those horizontal surfaces. 
but that's going to be the blue. Um, yeah, I think that uh, I'll start uh, uh, masking this up. And uh, it's basically the, the first um, blue we'll be doing, the field blue along here. Um, all I'm going to need to mask will be just the water line that I want to keep black. The rest I'll, I'll spray that. And then um, when that dries, I'll be able to mask over it and leave the areas that are going to be this uh, intermediate blue. Is that right? No. That's for the deck. To get this right. Um, that's for the deck. Feel blue. Ah, uh, grey. <laughs> Get it right. I want to spray the wrong colour. Okay, so once the once the field blue is is on the sides of the ship, I'll mask off. I'll mask it off because that'll be. I don't want anything getting on that. And then we'll hit the grey. And the grey will go over everything else, including the uh, superstructure parts that I have because the sides of all these have to be grey. So I'll be spraying them all completely grey. And then when it dries, I'll mask all the grey off and that will leave the, horizon uh, the horizontal surfaces, which will be the intermediate blue. Okay. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, back shortly. Okay, so I've managed to mask the uh, water line up on this, and uh, uh, now that I'm in the painting mood and the weather's okay, um, it's not too late in the day, I'm going to give this the field blue coat along the sides. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Hey, welcome back. Paint went on and uh, went on nicely actually. Real nice layer. I let it dry for about 10-15 minutes and did another coat and then a third coat after that just to make sure. So it's, it's a nice, uh, a nice uh, blue that one. So what I've done is that's drying now. I'm going to leave that till tomorrow. Um, because I need to tape up the blue area, um, I'm going to give it a coat of clear just to give a bit of extra protection so that I don't pull any paint off when the tape comes off. Um, I'll give it a clear coat uh, first thing in the morning. Um, and then I'll give that half a day to dry before I put the tape over there and tape it up. Um, in the meantime, I made a quick start on the turrets. There's four turrets here. I've just uh, cleaned up the little pieces and let me just adjust this camera down a bit, get a better view. Okay, it's better. So, yeah, so the little turrets are here. See there, nice. And uh, I've just um, sanded them up, taken them off the sprue clean them up and wash them get the dust off so I'm just going to leave those aside and then I'll I'll put all the um, the other pieces on there uh, except for the barrels um, I might leave them because I want to detail them separately um, and there's one or two of them will actually have a lot of lifeboats on them going by the instructions here lifeboats all across the top I'm not sure about painting the tops of the turrets different color I'll have to go through some reference photos and have a look um, and see if I can if that needs to be done uh, otherwise they'll just stay the uh, gray um, yeah so all good um, now it'll only be a few seconds for you but for me it'll be uh, back tomorrow morning and uh, We'll spray the clear coat on there and put these little turrets together. 
Okay, back in a second. Okay, hello, welcome back. I've um, started on the turrets. Um, put the little pieces on the ends here. See that? And uh, what I'm going to do is the tops of these turrets, I'm going to paint the same colour as the deck, which is going to be this... Um, uh, we've got intermediate blue. Um, so what that means is that I paint them blue, or at least the tops, and then when it dries, I'll mask that blue off and then paint the rest of them the grey that the rest of the ship is. Um, and talking about masking, <laughs> I've got to mask all the tops of these, all the deck areas on the superstructure. I need to get some little bit, mask it all off. But not until after I've painted it also with the intermediate blue. So my next job now will be to paint all the blue. Basically just focusing on getting the deck areas. On there, uh, on this part, on these. Anything that's a, a horizontal surface um, needs to be coated blue. And like the turrets, when it dries, um, it'll all get taped up, masked up, so that I can do the grey. The masking will take quite a bit of time, because it's very small and very fiddly. Now, the ship itself, I've painted, uh, as you saw, the, um, the outside. And now I've done a clear coat, just to protect that, because I'm going to need to mask that coat so I've only just sprayed that like 10 minutes 15 minutes ago um, so what I'll do is I'll let that dry um, a good few hours before I put the tape over it to protect the area that I've painted and then like the other um, superstructure and all these other pieces I'll do the blue intermediate blue on all those horizontal surfaces of the deck and of course all of this will need to be um, when it when it's dried or masked off uh, fortunately I won't have to mask off the area where the deck will go down because the deck will cover that so um, I won't need to worry about that but once it's all masked off then I'll come in and do all the grey on the sides of the superstructure that's the plan <laughs> but I will leave that into the next video um, because this part two is uh, going long enough so all that I just mentioned then will all be happening in part three so thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already give us a thumbs up if you like the video comment below um, happy to get all your comments um, questions, suggestions, whatever. And I'll hopefully see you all in part three of this, in, of this, uh, forget the name of the ship. <laughs> uh, I almost said independence. <laughs> so the Indianapolis. Okay. See you. Bye. Thanks for watching.